Good morning. Today is September the 20th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today, we're going to look at a theological term we use a lot uh, out of crazy talk. It's uh, uh, the word repentance, which is the change in a person's behavior that follows a recognition of having sinned. Repentance usually describes a life changing about face. And when we see this word, while we may mention it in church, we also see it sometimes on a billboard or maybe somebody holding a sign uh, that says, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. As egg-headed Bible types might tell you, repentance is a translation of a couple of different words. There's the Greek word metanoia, which means to change your mind, and the Hebrew word shub, which means to turn around or return. And the English word repentance is used to actually translate both of those words. Repentance is an important feature in the Bible. It is core to the teaching of Jesus, Peter, and Paul. It is what Hebrews calls, um, the book of Hebrews calls the basic teaching about Christ and the foundation of what the church does. And it is, according to the angel Gabriel in the movie Constantine, if you didn't see that, don't worry about it, humankind's singular gift from God. A recurring pattern in the Bible is Humanity falls and fails. These failures take over and push God away. God calls for repentance, and God delivers the people. There are, of course, many things one may need to repent of. Simple sins, unbelief or rejection of the gospel, uh, the intents of one's heart. The Bible, Old Testament, and New Testament alike urges repentance and promises forgiveness. Repentance is not, however, merely mechanical. John the Baptist calls for a repentance that bears worthy fruit. There is then some expectation that repentance ought to not to be simply cosmetic or convenient, but lead to renewed efforts at and attention to walking in God's will and way. So repentance, if taken seriously, will become habit-forming, a way of life. As a pastor once said long ago, the, life, the entire life of the believer is one of repentance. The entire life of the believer is one of repentance. Other ways of referring to the act of repentance may include, but may not be limited to, backpedaling from sin, running away from bad habits, tactical withdrawal from being a morally deficient person, and the unhardening of one's heart. So repentance is our way to turn away from sin and to turn back towards God. That's a simple way of putting it. And that's our, our you know, part of the common um, cycle of our life. We are going to mess up. And then we realize that repent and try to turn back towards the way that God wants us to be. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you that you love us no matter what. That when we mess up, um, you forgive us. You ask us to turn back towards you, back towards a way of, of loving you and, and loving one another. Continue to help us in all uh, of our life's worries right now. Um, whether it be those who are, uh, we ask you to be with those who are sick in hospitals um, or people awaiting surgery. Help us continue to uh, do what we can to fight this pandemic by taking care of one another, which means taking some responsibility for ourselves in, in the form of vaccines and masking and doing what we knew, need to do to keep ourselves and others safe. Be with those in harm's way of storms and fires. Uh, be with those who are recovering from those kinds of things. And help us more than anything uh, to take care of one another, to love one another, and uh, to turn towards you when we're falling astray. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.